Good afternoon, Collections Management students. This is Cynthia, and this is your Monday message. And I hope you are enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Um, I didn't have school today, so I got a lot of graduation stuff done. Um, and it was really nice, so I hope you got a chance to get out and enjoy it. Um, we are winding down the semester, and you have one assignment left. It is 4.7. It is the Selection Policy Evaluation. And we talked about this um, in class last week, but I wanted to just kind of go over it again. You are going to take a selection policy, which hopefully you've been able to get your hands on. And for those of you that had some trouble, um, I think we addressed where you would be able to find one. So you are going to put that into um, a Google Doc or a Word document. And then you're just going to go through and you're going to find the goals and objectives, responsibility for selection, selection criteria, and those are going to be based on the ALA selection criteria, um, what to do about reconsiderations and challenges, gifts, any of all those components, and you're going to highlight those in the appropriate colors. And then you are going to um, upload that to the discussion board along with um, a well-developed paragraph, four to five sentences, highlighting two points of new learning and one remaining question um, after looking at those selection policies. And I know a lot of you um, found selection policies and they were pretty sparse, so that might be a great discussion for you to add um, in that paragraph. So I'm just going to pull up the selection policy for FPS just so you can kind of see how this is going to work. So the objective part of the selection policy you would highlight in green. So this is pretty much, um, I would say that's probably the objective. And I'm going to highlight it, pick green, and there we go. So I've just identified the objective portion of that selection policy. And um, I actually had to drop it into Google Docs, and so it looks a little weird, but that's basically, and then so you're going to have this big rainbow document when you get all done. But I think it's a really great opportunity for you to dig into a policy and really see what the components and pieces are. And if you're in a district, um, what's there so that um, when those policies come up for a revision, you have a really good working knowledge of um, what you can contribute in terms of what it should have. So that's going to be 4.7. And then... I just added kind of a little extra discussion, and this is not required, but definitely encouraged. Um, we would just like you to share an aha moment of learning from this semester. We are really proud of the hard work that you guys have done. Um, I know we asked a lot of you and we pushed you really hard, um, but that is because we want you to be absolutely the best and that um, we would put you in front of our kids anytime. So. I know that we had some pretty high expectations and you guys rose to those, so we're very proud of you. And we'd love to know just um, what you, what was your big learning moment this semester that will help us going forward and just know that we learned a lot from you. Um, I think that Ann and I would both agree that a lot of times the best um, learning experiences are when the teachers learn as much from the students as the students do from the instructors. So thank you guys for a great semester. So if you would share something there, that'd be really great. Um, do make sure you have all of your tasks and um, notes and things from Blackboard saved into another place so that when um, the semester closes, you will still be able to get to your stuff. We'll get everything graded. Um, I think grades are due May 2nd or 4th, I can't remember, but one of those two days. And so you're going to want to make sure that you have everything from Blackboard if you want to go through the discussion board and find some of those really great handouts, those ebook handouts that you thought were fabulous. Um, maybe um, take a look at those and just kind of go through, see if there are definitely that professional reading. Um, I know I have to go through there and pull out a couple articles that you guys posted that were just fabulous, and so I was really excited. Um, so I jotted those down, so i got to go back and get those. So just kind of go through the discussion board, um, look through, see if there are things that um, you want to make note of um, to kind of take you forward on your journey. So you're going to want to do that before the course closes. 
and also make sure that you have filled out your course evaluation. And finally, um, I was just kind of looking through School Library Journal today and I found this really great article on Up for Debate and it's about recalling a book. And this has to do specifically with Birthday Cake for George Washington. But it's got some really great comments from um, a lot of different voices in the um, literary and library field about um, when is it okay to recall a book? Um, are publishers bowing to pressure if they are, there's a demand or a call for that? So it was really great. It was a really great article, very interesting and very pertinent to what we discussed in class um, and Dr. Pasco shared with us. So definitely um, take a look at that. And then I know we have our AASL best apps and websites for teaching and learning. Well, School Library Journal um, has this on their website and it's best books and apps and more of 2015. And this is really awesome because there is a graphic novel section, there's a Latin book section, audio books, there's an app section, and then some teen young adult books. So definitely give that a look as well. Um, that will kind of give you some idea of what was, um, what was their pick. And it'd be interesting to maybe compare the two um, lists of apps from AASL and School Library Journal. So there are couple things that you can take a look at when you have some time. Um, have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine. And um, once again, um, from me specifically and Anne, thank you guys for a great semester. Um, we'll be talking to you before we're done, but um, just want you to know we're very proud of all of you and the growth and all of the learning that we did. And always feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or anything that you aren't sure about. Um, we are very happy to give you any direction or guidance that we can. So thank you guys. Have a great week. And um, your last assignment, your last task is due on April 30th, and that is both of those components. So please email us if you have questions. Have a great week, and that's it.